Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. What inspired you to purchase the store? As okay. a little girl, I played store owner all the time, so this was something that came this very naturally to me. The yeah. store was here for 13 years, and it was an important part of the community. They always find the perfect gift for someone. Everybody came here for everything. Um, inspiration, community involvement, when the business was put on the market, I was an employee here at the time. I decided, let me try and I'm going to take it over and see how it goes. She picks things out that are you, that you're going to love. In fact, this necklace, which I love. <laughs> I love this necklace. I wear it all the time. I've picked outfits around this necklace. You can't just buy one either. You know, you find that little bracelet, especially the peace signs are really big this year. And, um, you know, I wound up buying a bracelet for every one of my nieces and then a, a few things for my daughter's friends. And you definitely will go home with more than what you thought you'd find. I'm thinking, Lori, of having my paycheck direct deposited <laughs> to Nook and Cranny. <laughs> one time we were walking back because Nikki knew about a lot of ices. And then when we came back, we saw this place. My mom bought this for me for my birthday. I really like it. This necklace, my mom got it for me for Christmas. It's like peace signs and hearts and stuff. I've bought several snowmen that I really, really liked. Lori has some around the store that I'm using for decorating in my office at the library. You can find out all the news from town. <laughs> Maya, actually, a couple of times I've had phone calls all over town wanting to know where I was because <laughs> they were worried because I spent two and a half hours in here. Most of the time it's news. There is some gossip thrown in occasionally. Who has the best news? The salon or Nook and Cranny? Here. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here today uh, at Nook and Cranny Collectibles, the Chamber's spotlight business for December. It's wonderful to see such a great crowd here shopping uh, and getting ready for Christmas time. For anybody out there who's thinking of starting a business, those oh aspiring entrepreneurs, Okay. What advice would you give them? Let the business be a reflection of you and try to find the right products and listen to your customers so, and be ready for lots of stress. <laughs> <laughs> there was a young girl, the daughter of the, the business next door, came over with this fabulous design. The minute I saw it, I knew it was what I wanted. I really appreciated the personal touch. My daughter's just got me actually this right over here for my birthday, a little incense burner. I keep hearing them talk about the home nooks and crannies, nooks and crannies. It's exactly what, it, what the name says, little nooks and crannies. Very nice. Lori Ziegel emphasizes the importance and power of building great customer relationships. Lori, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. I wish everybody a very happy new year.